You know, the older I get, the more I learn everything in life is all about timing. Afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. Okay, first I need to address this video. I am holding the camera in my hand, and I've noticed from other videos that when I'm holding it, the uh, motion sensitivity seems to go away to where it bounces around a lot. I apologize for that. I, I don't know what to tell you. So, timing. Right now, I am headed to Denver, catch a plane in the morning to go to Orlando, Florida to tour Sinninger's plant. Who the hell is Sinninger? That is the company that makes all the sprinkler parts like nozzles, uh, flow regulators, the hose fitting, all that sort of stuff where the water is actually coming out of the machine. That's all Sinninger that we use. Now, why am I going to tour? That's a damn good question. I really don't know. I just got a call from our Zomatic guy. He said, hey, we're putting this trip together. Here's the information. And I said, okay. But for like the week leading up to this, I was like, man, this is just horrible timing. We're getting into the middle of March. We've got so much stuff we need to be doing out in the fields. And I'm going to be gone for four days because it's Tuesday afternoon. And I'll get home Sunday morning. Just the, or Saturday morning, just the way it all works out. I'm like, man, this is horrible timing. Not to mention the fact I'm taking this trip with three guys that I do not know. The one I should know by now, he runs the new Zomatic store near us, but I haven't met him yet. I know his boss, just not him. So yeah, me and three guys I do not know taking a trip to Florida during spring break. What could possibly go wrong there? But, so I'm sitting here worried about the timing of all this. I'm like, man, this just isn't going to be right. And then Mother Nature decided she's going to remind us it's still winter. So starting tomorrow, like midday, the front range is going to get hit by a massive snowstorm. As for out here, they're talking a little bit of snow, maybe some rain. Two to three tenths-ish moisture. Denver anywhere from 5 to 15 inches of snow and it's all supposed to start a couple hours after we take off in the morning so I'm really hoping the plane's on time which getting more seems like a very rare thing but so see everything's all about timing the timing of this trip the timing of our flight the timing of this snowstorm it's all one big circle sorry I'm really bored it's a three hour drive and most of it is looking at nothing at least be some interesting farm ground to look at make it make it a fun drive I don't know. let's go to Denver okay but all that being said I cannot say thank you enough to Senator for this opportunity the fact that they're willing to pay for all of us to come tour their factory that says a lot to me so thank you for that now let's go to Denver it always amazes me how many planes you can watch come in to land at DIA in like the, I don't know, 5, 10 miles you can see them all on final approach. The airport's just right over there a couple miles if you've never been here. Cloud Bank is already moving in, so can't see Jack Squad of the uh, Rocky Mountains. But, yeah, finally made it up here. Now let's see if I can find my hotel. Good morning, everybody. Apparently, everybody had the same thought as me. Snowstorm coming. Let's park in the garage. Couldn't find a spot, so I'm on the roof of the garage. Which is pointless. Other than being really close. That's handy. Just got checked in here. The Embassy Suites. We're in downtown Orlando. It's freaking nice. Weather is beautiful. I mean, on Colorado, it's snowing. Sorry. It's like a tiny little hood. I mean, I'm used to NBC Suites being massive. Either way, sounds like we're gonna go hit up the bar for happy hour, and then go to an oyster bar for dinner. So that should be interesting. Probably just catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys. So factory tour, I've got a lot of random video clips, not a whole lot of audio because it was hard to talk and that there's a lot of noise. Enjoy the footage. Now you got what you need. 
Yeah. Wouldn't have made it out today. No. There's probably. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did over here. Did they do the start in the plastic? Uh, probably like 65. Yeah. Yep. So they transitioned. They, and at the time of space, right around that time, you get a lot of irrigation wells put in, a lot of boreholes, a lot of center pivots installed. In my opinion, mm -hmm. but it worked. Um, and that's what really drove the transition in the Iowa, and that's been one of the flagship products for many, many years. Colorado. Something please. There's not very many down there, right? No, yeah, it's, it's a small, small. Yeah, small. it's a start with in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right now, they're fully servicing the Brazilian market, and it's it's very costly to import into Brazil. Yep, I do it all. Okay. Um, it's, it's a pretty complex spring to build compared to some of the others. So, what? Had you already put the first batch of silicone in? The dog says like 90 weight. It's almost Vaseline. Yeah. 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 So DJI, it's kind of like a GoPro. Yeah. So I use yep. for all my YouTube stuff. Okay. Container clip. This machine's putting together the base of the IWA. testing facility. So it runs 24-7. Each one of these catches water so they can test growing. Now we got some water flowing. A little bit better view of the outdoor test. They're running crazy high pressures just to see how long it takes to break them. And you can see all the concrete work back there. Currently expanding their facility here. It's going to more than double in size. It's going to be pretty cool. Well, these trees are cool. All right, tour's over. Let's go have some fun. Definitely should have brought 
a bigger bag because these things are stuffed. All right, here it is, last day. Uh, tour in Everglades, or not the Everglades, um, tour in fan boat yesterday. Today is Kennedy Space Center and then the airplane. Let's go see what we can find. Well, all good things must come to an end. Saying goodbye to the old Grand Wagon here. It was a hell of a ride. Time to go catch a plane. Finally on the ground. Old snowy Denver ain't so snowy. It's because it got warm. Oh, made the hike out here. It is cold. Our plane. Start this, let it warm up. Our plane got delayed in I'm on point at me you can't see me in Orlando for a good 45 minutes after we were already on board waiting on thunderstorms in the south if you are in the south I hope you're all doing well didn't sound good but we're finally here I'm out of breath that was a long walk because our plane basically landed there so I had to walk back to there to catch train back to there to walk out to here. Whew. I'm gonna go find my hotel. Finally made it home, it's a little after 10. I cannot express my gratitude enough to Seneca Irrigation for this amazing trip. I mean, I'm just some random farmer from Southeast Colorado and they treated us like royalty and I am truly grateful for it. The factory tour was amazing. Getting to go on a fan boat ride Kennedy Space, all of it, just amazing, and I cannot tell you guys enough how grateful I am for that opportunity. That being said, though, we miss the moisture, which is good and bad. We need some moisture, but at the same time, we got stuff to do. So I'm going to run inside, unpack, change my clothes, head for a tractor. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.